Greetings folks, I'm going to do a, a review of my Neumann KMS 105 MT. Not sure what the MT stands for. I've had this microphone for about 10 or 12 years I think. It gets used a lot, but not by me, not on my voice, but I use it with other people. This is uh, what it came in, I don't know if it still does, back in the day. Came uh, comes in this box, tube, get the top off. Inside is the, the mic in its gig bag. And the specs. What the manufacturers say, let's see what they say. Well, I won't tell you what they say so much, but I'll show you the, uh, the response. Don't know if you can see it, hopefully. It's hypercardioid. You'll notice it goes up to 20 kilohertz. Well, tails off quite sharply before 20 kilohertz. They say it goes up to there, but it's actually down there a bit. See as it's very flat across the middle and you can see the dotted line that's extended towards the base is when it's near to your mouth with the proximity effect so it doesn't really boost anything but it makes it flat and if it's a little bit away from your mouth you can see it tails off a fair bit. That's the uh, the graph. You can get this online. This is the uh, gig case it comes in. Undo this flap, and there's a the microphone, which we'll look at closer in just a sec. It also comes with a microphone clip, it says Neumann. Very firm, very firm fit. It'll probably lo loosen up. I don't use it as you can tell, I, I use the bare clips which we'll look at when I do a video on microphone clips. Case is quite useful. I, I use this if I take it on gigs because it's quite small. It's um, fairly well padded and fairly loose as well. So it gives a little bit more if you were to drop it, there's some give there because, as you can see, the whole thing moves a little. Not so sure about, it's quite padded at the base. I'm not so sure about the top edge there. If you were to drop it, unfortunately, it was to land there, maybe some damage. Fit, finish, and feel. We have to zoom in. Here it is, the red Neumann badge. Quite a fine uh, grill, which I usually think is a good thing. Compared to SM58, a little bit longer similar sort of weight compared to my standard the earthworks as you may be familiar with a little bit smaller feels a little bit lighter the top does unscrew. Nice thread, feels good quality. There's difficult for you to sorry. It's difficult to see. There's another inner fine mesh lining and here 
another, and finally another. So it's like a multi-stage, different uh, grades of mesh to break up the blasts. I noticed that the 104 and the 104 Plus use foam. I've got both of them. We'll, look, we'll do a comparison another time, but this is just about the, the 105. Feels nice, good quality. I think it's less shiny now than newer ones. I think they've put a more of a slightly matte finish, I think. Or maybe this has got a bit polished from, from use, perhaps. But fine, no complaints at all. Very nicely made. Okay, time to uh, plug it in and have a listen. I've balanced these up on the desk. Three mics, the Rode mic, my uh, Earthworks and this. Just the Rode mic on at the minute. So I'm going to look at pops, S's, breath, handling, polarity. This is the Neumann then. For what I noticed first of all, it's good, it's well delineated. I notice, of course I know the mic very well. I notice a sweetness at the top there. It's quite extended. It's a little bit emphasized, a little bit brightly lit, I'd say. I notice there is some handling noise. Can you hear that kind of, wouldn't say plasticky exactly, but it's uh, reasonably high frequency. So you need to be, make sure you don't fiddle with it. Or if it's in a stand, not a problem. Even though I do that, I can notice that that's quite well, quite brightly lit. Um, I notice that the bottom end isn't really there, as we saw in the in the graph. So I bring it closer, some proximity kicking in here. Bring it closer still, bring it closer still. Here's the thing with this mic. Two of my students have bought it, and another two are hoping to buy it more than the, any other mic that they've been using. So it's very popular. I use it on them a lot. It's kind of my go-to one at the Brit School. Girls and guys, particularly girls. I don't use it. I was disappointed. The reason I don't use it is, again, I've got a lower voice. Not particularly, actually. But I, I use that part. And this doesn't really go there. In fact, what I'd say is that that proximity, the kind of hump, is a little bit high for a lowish male voice and it adds a kind of boxiness rather than true bass. So as I bring it in there, I notice it has a little bit, it's kind of around, it's a bit too high. It doesn't give me any real, 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 the, low, the real low end just isn't, isn't there. So, um, however, something else about it, I did use it with the big band for a while. And I remember the first time I used it, the conductor went to listen to the band and the balance and everything. And he came back and said, what is that microphone? So I told him, and he said, uh, I can hear everything, but you're not loud. I can hear everything, you're, I can hear you above the band, but you're not loud. I can just hear, like I've never heard it before. So that was um, quite a, a compliment, I suppose, to it. It's that, it's that, yeah, I think it's that slightly brightly lit thing going on up there. And you can hear as I breathe in, it tends to put the voice across, and it's sweet. Pops, 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 pops. Pops are very well controlled. And it's very open. I think I like this mesh system that they use. It sounds very clear and open to me. Pops are well controlled. Mind you, it doesn't go low, of course. So people, 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 people. Be very well controlled. Let's compare it to the Earthworks. I'm on the, on the Earthworks now, which needs turning up a bit, I can tell. Yeah, so people, people. Now I can hear that. Obviously, the Earthworks goes a lot lower. A lot lower, you can hear. So, uh... But I think also that little bit of breath on the Earthworks, Earthworks, as I said in the review, I think is, I'm thinking it's to do with the foam and maybe the size of the grill. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but so uh, pops are very well controlled. Getting rid of the Earthworks. Back on the Neumann. S's, S's. You may want, to, you may want to be a bit careful with the S's because it is brightly lit. It's sweet. They're not sharp, but I, I'm not particularly sibilant. I don't think, and I can hear. I might have to be a little bit careful up there on the Neumann. You could probably EQ that. It's a pleasing sound. Handling we've mentioned. Let's do the polarity. Again, this is super cardioid, hypercardioid. So there we are on axis at the front. So I bring it round slightly. You can hear it's changing 
a little bit, but, but sort of bigger one. By the time we get there, coming round to the side here, side, 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 maximum rejection there, as you can hear, some phasing going on. Coming round, coming round, coming round. And there, you can hear it's leaking a bit as a hypercordioid does. Coming back round again, there you can hear the rejection. But pretty much a full tilt there towards the side. And I'm coming round again, coming on axis, coming on axis, coming on axis. Quite a nice sweet spot. If you remember, sound and suitability. Again, with a lot of these condensers, as I say, again, eh, 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 I can hear that. It's picking that up and putting it forward. Again, with these condensers, you might not want to use them in, in loud stages with heavy rock. Seems to be what's the point. I think probably that's uh, the realm of dynamics. Uh, acoustic singers. Again, it works very well with acoustic instruments. It's a very popular mic with, uh, with my students. There are a few who it doesn't suit. Uh, even not low voices, but just their particular shape of frequencies. I think it would suit most things that aren't desperately loud, really. Um, very well worth checking out. Again, there's the other two variants, the 104 and the 104 Plus, which I shall, I'll do them all together at one stage. This one is more brightly lit, in my experience, than the other two. Um, very good mic, musical. It's not entirely flat, but it's musical. What it does do is musical. Likes and dislikes. Well, I like it. A lot of people like it. I would say it's a modern, even though it's been around a while now, I'd say it's a modern standard, actually a modern classic. Uh, the low end is the issue for me. It doesn't go low enough. And when it starts to boost, that boosting is too high in my voice, which makes it a little bit boxy. Um, so for me, it doesn't work. For a lot of people, it works really well. Before I hand this over to Mr. Manuel, I thought it would be quite useful to compare the Neumann with the Earthworks and an SM58, which many of you will be familiar with. This isn't scientific in any way, and I'm going to tell you what I hear. I know I shouldn't, but you may not hear it, or your ears may not be trained. Your system may not have it, so I'm just going to do it and say what occurs to me, trying to be as, as, as neutral as I can be. So I'm going to get rid of the road, and we'll start with uh, we'll start with the SM58. Yeah, that's not the SM58. The owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat. So what I immediately hear is a kind of edginess there, cutting edgy but a bit coarse the owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat they took some honey pea's quite controlled i can tell already there's no bass the owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat that's the sm58 the owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea immediately i hear this is sweeter it's extended it's quite present but it's quite sweet i don't know how they do that chance maybe who knows the owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat they took some honey and plenty of money wrapped up in a five pound note some bass there but not real bass earthworks coming up that's a neumann the owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat they took some honey and plenty of money wrapped up in a five pound note woof what i noticed is that then seems very neutral at the top there it's extended nothing uh, pushes its way through the bottom end power is phenomenal, which I like. So that's the Earthworks. Let's, uh, that's just a phrase. Let's um, do something a little bit higher up. If I'm gonna be edgy up there, if I'm gonna be edgy, if I'm gonna be edgy up there, if I'm gonna be edgy. Suits so the SM58 very well. You don't need much definition. It's got that edgy thing going on already. This is the Neumann up there. This is the no so Neumann up there. This is the Neumann up there. Can you hear? It kind of doesn't suit it maybe so well. Or there's, there's mm, what it's got going on is a bit wasted if you're doing that. I'm going to do, try the, um, onto the earthworks. It's going to come back to the 58, back to the, to the earthworks. 
This is the earthworks up there. This is the earthworks up there. This is the earthworks up there. This is the SM58. It just kind of suits it because it's, it, it's already uh, gravelly and uh, uh, a bit gnarly up there. So it kind of suits the 58. It's interesting, actually. This, I haven't done this before. I know I should have, but hey. Uh, let's try something low. Let's check just on this SM58. If I'm going to be down there. If I'm, uh, if I'm going to be down there. <laughs> if I'm going to be down there. There. This is what I notice. It's papery. And I think it's papery because there's no real bass. So obviously, even when I'm singing no notes, there's <sighs> and harmonics. So the balance of my voice changes. You hear the harmonics and that a lot of the F air sound on the SM58 because of all that <laughs> stuff that it puts through anyway. But you don't get the bass, so it changes the quality. It's not very rewarding for me to go down there. So it, these microphones affect the way you sing. And when you come back, I don't know if you can hear this stuff. So if I'm being down there, I've got a, all of that, but not no no real low bass. Let me go on to the Neumann. If I'm going down there, if I ooh, if I'm going down there, yeah. better than the SM58. Can you hear it? it's sweeter and smoother? It's got more bass, but I can and that, that little bit of the honk 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 that um, I mentioned earlier, but no real bass, but the balance is probably better, so it's more enjoyable for me than the SM58 if I'm going to be down there. This is the Earthworks. If I'm going down there, who if, I, who if I'm going down there, changes, there's much more of the low end in there, so it, I've got something to explore. It's worth going down there. Any road, uh, there we go, we've got three wonderful examples where you've got the SM58, which you all know, sounds like rock, grainy, bit shut in, not no frequency extremes, just gives you the bit you need for that kind of singing. You've got the uh, the sweet, slightly enhanced Neumann KMS 105, but as I've said, not enough learn for me. And then you've got everything with the earthworks, but no sweetness. So I'm going to hand it over to the old boy and see uh, see what he makes of it. Maybe you're poor, maybe you have wealth Maybe in demand or maybe baby on the shelf Whatever your situation, there's one thing you should do Reject all automation, let me work on you I'm Mr. Manual Automatics of my style, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to manually manipulate your guarantee To make them you smile, nice and, nice and easy up there They call me Mr. Manual, I wanna stay there but automatic's not my style Can you hear the breath? They call me Mr. Man You are automatic's not my style No point going down I know the man any manipulation on the face I don't have guarantee to make you I like to manually manipulate your guarantee to make you guarantee to make the guarantee to make you smile I like to manually manipulate you It's guaranteed to make you smile Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a sweetie. La mascara. <laughs>